Okay, day 173, I don't know anymore, but soft hills, still kind of at a standpoint, I got a buddy of mine coming over, he's got a, a vacuum tool so we can uh, pull the, I don't know, the brake, li uh, brake line off, get the new one on, and bleed and refill the brakes. So in the meantime, the new seat's here. Went with the Saddleman because loved it on the street glide. But I wanted that solo look. So if you don't already know or haven't figured it out, yep, got the Saddleman Renegade and a knuckle stitch. Because again, I'm not a big fan of the the lattice stitch or that double diamond or whatever you want to call it. So I wanted something a little bit different. Uh, so here it is. So it's hard to, to tell in person, let alone on camera. But we've got a dark gray stitching in here all around the perimeter we've stuck with a color matched you know in black saddleman logo because soft tail is a dark gray and harley calls it an industrial gray but that was about the best i could get aside from using like silver which i feel like was going to be not quite what i was looking for so dark gray it is i've already had it on the bike once it's way more better than that stupid stock slab of granite piece of crap um so way more better for those interested the packing is good they use that you know expandable foam stuff you know a little plastic baggie so so and in the box aside from the seat oop, you get directions and hardware because if you don't know it's a two bolt setup and this seat is now a one bolt setup just under that tag is the bracket there it is so we'll pull these two screws do a 180 with this take the hardware take this seat off and kind of walk you through that once i get that seat off there show you what i'm talking about so one hot sec okay so now we got that seat off so we keep the plastic retainers on here then we've got two thick washers and two thin washers so we start with a thick one on each there we go and then we put on our handy dandy bracket there we go then a thin washer thin washer and we have two nylon locking nuts that'll spin on and snug up I'm not gonna snug it down on camera but if I can get that one to catch without cross threading okay so now that's the bracket on we'll snug it up it does come with a retainer screw which I don't know if I'm going to use that or if I'm going to use the the chrome one that I have already I'll probably try both and see what I think we'll come back to that but in the back of the seat like I said we pull these two allens and I don't know the exact size on them presently I was not prepared but you remove those two, spin this around. There is a little rubber gasket that it comes with. Uh, use that if you want. I don't know if I will. Uh, you know, we'll see. I'll check it out. I'm using it on the street glide. So, all right. So next time you'll see the seat on the bike, secured and shining. So one sec again. All right. So the nut to secure the nylon locking, locking nut. Yeah. Uh, it turned out it was a. 7 16 and the allen key to spin the the latch around for the seat was a 5 32nd so for those interested but there she is way more better looking feeling everything did end up go ahead and keep them with the one that they sent only because my dumb ass didn't realize that that's a female nut and the one that i had is a male nut and this is the one that came on the bike and that's just it's a real high standoff it's a it's flat, it's wore out. It's just not what I'm looking for. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll swap that out to a chrome one later. I don't know. I don't care at the moment. But I do have a chrome cap that's gonna cover that. That's stuck in the bottom of the stock seat. So for those of you who aren't running the pillion and have that and don't know about it, a lot of these soft tail seats have the little chrome filler cap for that stuck uh, underneath the rider seat. So that's it for the seat. It's a Saddleman. I love it. I don't have a code because I don't have a relationship, but 
they're the only aftermarket seats that I have experience with and I regret nothing. So I want to say that solo seat with the way I have it set up, no heat, uh, was a shade over 300, maybe 310 out the door. So almost exactly half the cost of my road sofa, but uh, definitely adds to the look of the bike. So highly recommend. But I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get back to uh, getting the, the brake line done because this thing's been down for about two weeks now and I'm itching to get out on it. So I'm going to stop yakking. I'm going to get to working.